Assalamualaikum. Uh, it's Friday. Coronation Street actress uh, and EastEnders as well. Uh, Tracy Brabin has been the new selected person to stand for the by-election. You've got a question now. Hello, Assalamualaikum. I will be giving my full 101% backing to the Labour candidate. So I don't expect that to be. It'll be just one or two. There's actually about nine parties, you know, British National yeah, Party, yeah, uh, National Front. You can't account for how people will vote on the day. Why should our students pay 9,000 pounds? Get their balloons up, that's fantastic. Why should you have to pay for scripted charges? We will seek justice for all the victims of the grooming gangs in this part of Yorkshire. They're all here. You're, what you're doing is clearly wrong in a town that don't want you. I live here, they do. I feel sorry for the people who live here next to you. You are a racist thug now, get out. Coming from an anti-Semitic, we don't believe what you say anyway. We're still upset about you. Well, that's where their office was. Liberty GP. Vote for Liberty GP. I wish in a way the Conservatives were having a candidate and then maybe we wouldn't have people like this jumping on bandwagon. Jack Buckley stands for ending immigration, for tackling the grooming gangs in West Yorkshire and for putting local people first. All these people aren't worth a that's honest. They all say they're going to do something and they don't. Hey, look, just a few little things on here, these, these issues, right? Putting local people first, what do you think about that one? Yes. Good. Mm -hmm. What about power to the people? Yeah. Renationalising the public transport and NHS? No more foreign wars? We shouldn't have any wars out together. Right, fair enough. What about stopping immigration? Yes. You want to stop it, right, and putting our people to the front of the housing queue, do you think that's important? Would yeah. it surprise you to know that those are British National Party policies? And this is our candidate here, Dave. Hello, love. So there you go. We're so standing in the out. election next Thursday, giving people a choice. I agree with a lot of what UKIP say, I must admit. I, I well, agree the problem with UKIP, they've achieved their goal of wanting the British people to have a referendum. It's, it's time to let us take centre stage now. Yeah. I mean, we, we The real nationalist. Our party's called Liberty GB, and we've got a fantastic young candidate called Jack Buckby. So let's try and get the UKIP Tory vote if we can. We're going to a nice leafy area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you made your mind up? You don't have to tell me. Have you made your mind up who you're voting for yet? Yeah? Uh, no. Uh, no you you No, you keep. Just Labour and a few smaller parties. Well, like a few out. nutters, I think. Oh, we're not nutters. We've got some very sensible policies about, oh, yeah. about stopping immigration and uh, tackling the grooming gangs in the Yorkshire area. I'm wanting to stand in their battle in Spain by election on right. behalf of the English Democrats. Oh, thank you. It's good oh, to see you. you. You know, without being told that I'm racist because I want to be English. Yeah. And I think that's a big issue as well. So Brexit and an English identity. So, but what's your little girl's name? Evie. Evie. Yeah. Well, that's a fantastic name. And of course, look up in the Bible, Genesis, Evie. The first David. woman in David. <laughs> David, yes, yeah. Well, I used, to, I used to teach religious education up the road, so um, I'm really into stuff like that, names. I think names are important, so. Are you EDL? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, can you please let people know on the great band we're no, not we the ECL? No, we actually thought you were EDL, but no, it's just how it looks then the phone. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. But well, that's, that's the problem, isn't it? Unfortunately, when you've got the cross of St. George, people automatically tell me it's something bad, you know. I felt very angry when these all dropped through my door and I, and I read them. There isn't room here now for re-stirring the, you know, the, the, sorry, the hatred. I think some of the people that are standing are quite divisive. I think they will have a negative effect on the community. God forbid, I hope it never happens. I don't think it had happened, but if there's a, a poor turnout, a really poor turnout, it could let in one of the right-wing parties. Or if there was a poor turnout and they got a high vote, it adds weight to their political beliefs. I used to vote for Labour, but that stopped, oh, it must be 20 years since that stopped. 
but I don't vote for Labour anymore. I don't vote, vote for anybody anymore. This country's Why? Because of the immigrants. Because of the immigrants that's coming in. Of course it is. How can, how can it... What, what jobs is it for English people? I used to vote for Labour. I used to vote for Labour. And why did you stop? Because of that Jeremy Corbyn. He's a load of crap. Absolute crap. Thank you very I have to say, this is the worst and saddest circumstances one would ever want for a by-election. Nobody ever wanted this by-election. The tragedy of the loss of Joe is something that's going to live with us for the rest of our lives. And uh, in her memory, we're going to win. In her memory, we're going to fight for our National Health Service. In her memory, we're going to fight for good, strong communities all over the country. Thank you very much for inviting me here today. Hiya, darling. Hiya, Tracy Bravin. Yeah. I'm the Labour candidate, but there are nine other I've seen all fringe yeah. parties. Yeah. Who It feels to me that's not who we are. But yeah. what we saw um, as a yeah. tragedy, actually, these far right and other parties have decided it's an opportunity for them to get there their division and hatred out there. Yeah. Tracy would do a fantastic job yeah. for everybody in the whole community, Are you I think. Life? I am. Well, I bet you've been watching watch straight. straight. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give you oh, that back, sure. please? Yeah. Because uh, uh, do you have any particular objection to, to what we're proposing here? Well, I don't believe that uh, you should be putting up anywhere, because Conservatives aren't, yeah. uh, Liberals aren't, UKIP aren't. Yeah. I don't think you should do. But Out what? of respect for Joe Cox. Sure, but what about and I, I wasn't a, a Labour supporter, and I'm not. No, no. But I just think that. Can I put it to you that our party, which is strongly opposed to immigration, would halt immigration completely, would deport all illegal immigrants and foreign criminals? Would those policies not appeal to you? Oh, yeah, but you, you won't get in. I don't understand it. You're, yeah, you're yeah, concerned you, about immigration. You know that Labour are promoting Labor? immigration. Well. well just out of respect. Out of respect for Joe Cox, and he's just told us that he d doesn't respect any of our policies. That's the mindset that's just... Oh. I worked for, for Joe in our, in our office. So as Joe's office is closing, so ends my job. Once the spotlight's put off and the election's over, all of the things that have been whipped up, all of the untruths that have been told, all of the problems that will have been compounded and fresh problems caused, we've got to live with that. And it's not a very pleasant prospect. Look at that. It's perfectly placed, that isn't it? We're above the Labour Party, aren't we always? <laughs> it's such a, a, an awful irony that in the by-election to, to find somebody to replace her, if that is even possible, that we end up being inundated with the hatred that caused this by-election. And there's a terrible irony in that, I think. <laughs>